Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about drilling on the lathe. So our workpiece is held in the chuck as normal, but the main part of the lathe that we use for drilling is the tailstock here. So the tailstock moves back and forth, like that. And this handle here brings the drill chuck um, in and out, like that. So this is a hand tightened chuck. This can also be replaced uh, with what's called a live centre for turning a large bar. Uh, but mainly in the engineering room here it's used for drilling. So these levers are important as well. This large lever here stops the tailstock moving back and forth. That needs to be engaged when you're drilling or else you will just push the tailstock back. This smaller lever here stops this handle from tightening. Uh, and when we drill we bring it forward, tighten it um, and then we're ready to drill. Okay, so we're going to take a closer look at the drill chuck here. So if you see along here, we've got little measurements. And what the measurements are for is if we're drilling a blind hole, it'll tell us how far we have drilled in. Now, if you see this last measurement here, it's very important that you avoid going back past that measurement. The reason being is once you go past that last line, the drill pops out here. This is a Morse taper fit, so it slots in like that and it's secure. But if you bring it back past that line, then it is going to come out. So like when we uh, dot punch or drill a pilot hole when we're drilling normally, uh, when we're drilling on the lathe, we have to use a center drill to drill our hole first. So this makes sure that our hole is in the exact center of the bar. So we place the center drill in the chuck, like such, and now we're going to drill our first center drilled hole. Okay, so as you've seen there, I switched from my center drill to my normal drill bit to drill the hole. Um, if you noticed, I was going back and forth at regular intervals, so drilling a little bit, bringing it back out. That's very important to allow the drill flutes to get cleared out as the hole is drilled, especially as we get deeper into the hole. A lot of the time you can tell that the drill bit is kind of struggling. If you hear kind of a screeching noise if you're ha or if you're having to force the drill bit. You could also use lubricant if you wanted to use lubricant, but... Um, drilling aluminium you wouldn't really need to. If you were drilling steel or brass then maybe a small bit of WD-40 would help drill the hole. The same rule applies here uh, as drilling normal holes. If you were drilling a larger hole you would drill a pilot hole on the drill same as you would if you were drilling on say the pillar drill. Uh, so that's everything everybody. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.